Hey everybody, Gregory back with another wine review. I hope this review finds all of you out there in great spirits today. I'm doing my first ever two part series on Riesling. Riesling? Yeah, Riesling. You know, it's a sweet white grape variety. And the reason I'm doing it on two parts is one of the most famous regions for Riesling is Germany because Riesling uh, it's a sweet white grape that thrives in a cold to moderate climate. And so I'm definitely going to do Germany because they're very well known because of their climate over there. They grow a lot of Riesling and I'm going to do the United States. It's also produced in France and Australia, but I'm doing Germany and the U S because the U S bottles of Riesling are easily found everywhere. So that's why I chose to do Germany and the United States. So, Again, th the thing about this wine though, Riesling can be very dry or it can be very sweet. It can be light bodied or it can be very full bodied. Um, but it's easier to find a sweet one. But if you don't know what you're looking for, you could easily find a very dry one. Um, if you're looking for a sweet one and you get a dry, you're going to be very disappointed. So that's why I'm here today. So there's a lot of technical information that you can learn about. Uh, German Rieslings and the Riesling grape. I'm not here to go through all of that. My goal today is to get you picking the right wine so that you can get home or wherever you're going and enjoy it. So without further ado, you know, like I always say, don't waste your time and don't waste your dime when you buy your wine. All right, check out these bottles. So when you look at a bottle, it's hard to really tell it is sweet or dry sometimes. All right, look on the back here. If you can see this word, Qualitätsstein, if you can see it. Now it's on the front of this bottle. Qualitätsstein. You was going to buy this bottle of Riesling. It's a very hard indicator of what style it is. But when you turn it around on the back, you may or may not be able to see it, but if you look for that quality takes volume, it's there. And again, with this one, nothing on the front. Quality takes volume is on the back of it though that's what you want to look for the same thing with this one i was drinking this one yesterday that's why it's empty but quality takes fine it's on the back now the good thing with this one though it has a sweetness indicator on it so it's going to tell you without knowing any german or german information if it's sweet or not now, quality tastes fine. That means that that wine has to be sweeter than the regular Riesling. So if you see that word on your bottle, it's going to be a little bit sweeter. And it's already naturally sweet, a Riesling is. So when you see that, most likely you're gonna get a real nice, crisp, sweet, um, pear and citrus kind of a Riesling that you can just enjoy, sip on in the summertime, a nice warm day. And you are going to enjoy it if you like that style of wine. Now, if you're looking for a drier style Riesling, you want to look for one with the word Landwind on it. Landwind. If you see Landwind on it, it's going to be a drier less sweeter Riesling. If you see that and you wanted a sweeter one, don't get that. Get the quality taste wing. Get that. That's what you want to get. So uh, I got two styles that I want to taste real quick and then we're going to see what they're like. Um, but can you believe they have another, a higher level of the quality taste wing? It's called Prada Cat Swing. A Prada Cat Swing. I'll put it up on the screen. <laughs> it has to be even sweeter than that. But it's right that you see it on the label 
you'll see one of its six classifications. So at the bottom in terms of sweetness is cabinet. And then after that is spalatis. So we're gonna try this cabinet first by Dr. Lucen. It's a 2018 Riesling. And these are supposed to be even a higher tier of wines um, because of their restrictions of growing and sweetness are different. And almost all these wines have a very pronounced scent to them, so this one smells very crisp and, and fruity. Yeah, very sweet. <laughs> it's very good and very crisp. This is very good. It makes me want to eat some popcorn with it. I don't know why. It tastes like uh, apples. Yeah, apples, a little lime. Let's try the other one. This one has a very different scent to it. it smells like uh, minerality, mineral rocks. Mm, mm. Oh yeah, now this, this is outstanding. It's much more fruitier. It is a little sweeter, sweeter but it's a fuller body. Um, and I can taste like an apricot. I can taste some um, melons, um, a little apple in there. It, this is fabulous. This, this is, you know what? I'm gonna put that on the screen again. This is good. This is outstanding. Nice. So, Riesling. It's a very sweet white grape, very crisp, very refreshing. If it's not in your cellar today, grab your bottle. You won't be disappointed. You know, like I always say, don't waste your time, don't waste your dime when you buy your wine. Gregory with another wine review. Come back. Please like and subscribe. It's free. I'm buying the wine. Like and subscribe. Free. Go ahead.